Prevent. This was the programme put in place to try and deal with terrorism, a counter-terrorism measure. And it's been up for a big review that is out today. How's it doing? Well, Peter Blexley, former Metropolitan Police detective. Peter, from what I can see of the review of this report, it's quite critical of the way that Prevent has operated. It is suggesting that it, is, that it, is, it has prioritised what it seems as right-wing extremism bordering on terrorism more than potential Islamic terrorism. Would that be a reasonable interpretation of where we are? Very much so. And the report then goes on to say that the focus needs to be on Islamic terrorism without taking the eye off the ball of right-wing extremism. And goes on to explain that some people that have held really quite mainstream views, perhaps if they're vocal with regards to concerns about huge numbers of immigrants coming to the UK, might almost have flicked some switches so that they would have become a, a, under the gaze of the Prevent programme, which, of course, is a shift that shouldn't have been there. So 34 recommendations, yep. and Suella Braverman has said she will take them all on board. Um, let's sincerely hope she acts upon them uh, and, and doesn't merely doff her cap to them. But I think there's a subtext to all of this, if I may, which really pollutes and pervades so much of public services. And that is people are afraid of the uncomfortable truth. For example, that there's some ideology in Islam which wants to wipe us from the face of the earth. But because there are questions and concerns about people's race and their faith, mm. they won't be as robustly challenged as perhaps they should be. And, of course, we know that's happened within policing, where we've had grooming gangs that have simply not been tackled because, again, people's fear about race. If you're going to do your job and you do it properly without fear or favour, what really is the issue? So you're suggesting that prevent despite the very best of intentions when it was set up, and Theresa May was a very big champion of all of this as Home Secretary, you're suggesting that Prevent, frankly, has been politicised. And I fear that some people have become afraid of saying what the truth is and tackling that truth robustly, fairly, properly, and it's only really of late that it's come to light that some organisations have taken Prevent funding and they haven't prevented the spread of the ideology. In fact, some have been found to, to perhaps further that ideology. So we really need open, honest debate and those who are involved with trying to prevent people blowing us all to smithereens to act without fear or favour. And on the right wing terrorism stuff, let's not pretend it doesn't exist because it does exist. Yes. You know, you made the point that actually some people have come under the, the purview of this that never should have done for free and open ma mainstream debate. But of course, there are still risks, aren't there, of extremists on the far right with assault rifles and all the rest of it. Very much so. And we've seen people quite rightly sent to prison for their acts of violence or yeah. their ideology. Yeah. And that is only right. And of course, we've heard from the security services talking about the very real threat of right-wing ideology. So we can't afford for, uh, for these organisations to take the eye off the ball no. in any way, shape or form. But, whatever, whatever. but we may have over-egged it. Yes, I think so, and it's to a certain extent it's been batted around a bit like a tennis ball being whacked from one court to another. Peter Blexley, as ever, very easy to understand. Thank you very much indeed.